So, hello YouTube. That's my first video. I have a clue what I'm going to say on it. But, you can only work with what you've got. And no one can be perfect. You're probably asking, like, why the hell is he going out to make a vlog? In the dark. Most people start the vlogs off in the light. And it's simple. I just haven't had the time. Um, first of all, the bike's also been knocking out on us, which is an absolute piss take. It causes a week of getting the metro to work, which has been an absolute pain in the arse. I hate the metro, hence the reason I've got a bike. It's either I never on time, or if it is on time, it's absolutely packed. And it kind of gets a seat. It's not just like you kind of get a seat. It, it kind of stands up nowhere because everyone's in your face. You just feel uncomfortable. Aye, but I have had the drift for about two weeks now. However, when it comes to actually using it, I forgot all about buying a mic. Like a fucking idiot. Aye, so I haven't been able to use my drift even after getting the mic. Because, like I said earlier, you bite not though. First thing that happened to me, bite. In fifth year. Um, the first thing that happened with me bike was my chain kept getting slapped. So I thought to myself, I haven't, up, I haven't really got new sprockets or chain. I've only maintained it since I've got the bike. I've had the bike a few months now. And bearing in mind, I use the bike for going back and forwards to work. And where I work, I work near Gosforth. So it's quite a run from me from South Shields. So, order me new sprocket and chain set, and I'm waiting that coming. I had to use the metro for around three days. Which, like I said before, I fucking hate the metro. So, after receiving the chain and sprocket, I was like, brilliant, be able to get them on. By this time, it could come to the weekend. So, me and my dad went out, Change the sprockets, and I knew my bath pads were getting down. So I thought to myself, we will take them out, see how bad they are, and get some water on it up. Took my pads out, and they were fine. Absolutely fine. Not a problem with them. So, I was like, well, Dad, what's the crap of the pads like? I was like, I feel like I've got no break, but the pads are fine. God, these potholes are terrible. Off he goes, he strips me caliper off, has a quick look at it. He's like, right, well, here's your problem. One of your pistons is sticking out. I was like, right. He's like, yeah, it's seized. You're not getting that out anytime soon. So we did try to free it, but like you said, it wasn't coming out. So I had to order a new caliper. Well, I'm saying caliper. I know all in a full break. So that meant the bike was off the road again. Even longer. So, where was up now? Yes, my caliper. So, my caliper ended up playing seeds, so I had to order a new one. So, my caliper, master cylinder come, went to fit it on. Happy days, for brilliant, I'm going to be back on the road, no getting the metro. And that was a lie. Fit the caliper on, and no avail. I was like, right. What's a crack? 
but my brake was working to a certain point other than it wasn't braking properly so wait it out it was in fact the master cylinder that was supplied with was a dodgy one brilliant by the way i took a day off work to come like to fix this so i thought brilliant to come obviously when i found that out i was absolutely raging i was like oh so what we've had to do is we've had to use the old master cylinder for the time being and use the new caliper so i need to get in touch with the guy on ebay and ask him what's a crack i've got a faulty part mate how i'm going to refund it because the caliper is fine but the master cylinder isn't that's going to be another question but anyway right i'm going to show you my bike there she is my little baby she's canny to us she is is canny. She's done as well, other than maintenance. She's a Razor MRX, which use, if you don't know, they are a Spanish make, they're not Japanese um, or Chinese. Um, they're a Spanish make and they use Yamaha engines, which is what's right in there. And it uses the same engine as a Yamaha WR, the same as the YZF. Um, the YZF-R, should I say, the Superbike version, 125. Uh, yeah, excellent, excellent little engine. Thumps constantly, keeps us going. I've only had to change the oil one since I've got her. I just thought I'd better change, change it just in case. Um, like I said, I've only had her two months. Um, I got her on an O5 plate, so she isn't that old. Screw this, on a curve. Oh. So really I've got nothing else to talk about for my first vlog and I don't want to just bore you too much because you're going to probably be sick of us already talking about me bike and you're like, well I didn't even know this kid. Why should I even be listening? Red bomb. Oh I hate you indicator. Absolutely hate you. Going along more. Just the noises. But I love you. Don't worry. It's not you. It's the relay. Don't worry. You sexy little girl. Oh no, you didn't. The fucking potholes, mate. Right. I tell you what it is. I'm gonna leave this because I'm just fucking babbling on. So I am gonna leave this and bid you farewell.